From the performance perspective, there are some really great challenges, both technically and musically, uh, but these never get in the way of the piece. It's never detrimental to your stamina. And in that sense, it's, it's a very well-written work. I'm very attracted, as you can hear in my music, to, to Stravinsky's music. Um, it's always been um, one of my great loves. And his clean lines, and, and let's use the phrase neoclassicism, um, is, is something I'm not afraid of. I actually like a lot of his neoclassical works very, very much indeed. Um, there's no fuzz, there's no, uh, there are no notes that can't be heard. There's nothing that isn't audible. And I think when you write for trombone and piano, everything's going to be audible. You have to, so you have to pare down the textures. You have to make everything very, very clear. The interplay between the trombone and the piano uh, is one of its great strengths and this allows both students and professionals to, to get a huge amount out of the piece and audiences as well. Um, the piece does require quite a lot of work um, but it's, it's incredibly rewarding for, for all those who approach and listen to it.